Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we're talking about uh, the negative impact of not educating the women in our society. And the first story is a story of Auntie Samiha who was living in my grandmother's uh, house on the top floor and she was a young, uh, very, very good mannered individual, very beautiful young woman. Uh, very well behaved, uh, a woman of value and dignity and the credibility. Unfortunately, she did not have babies at that time. Uh, she used to treat us extremely very well and uh, give us sweet and drink and everything. And she was so good to everybody in the neighborhood. And one day we found that her husband uh, had been advised by his family to go and marry somebody else because his wife cannot have, cannot bear uh, babies, can't have babies. And uh, uh, she asked for divorce. Uh, out of ignorance of the family, she was divorced, but Alhamdulillah, soon she was divorced, she married somebody else because of her good character, and within the first year, she had her first baby. And this is how we look at the society. If, if, if there is no children in the family, that means that the woman is the one who cannot have a child, not the man himself. This is the first story. The second story is uh, uh, going to attend uh, something called Alzar. Alzar, which is uh, in English called uh, social ritual. Social ritual, this is being uh, organized to uh, get rid of genie from the woman, or uh, if sometime there's a big problem between the husband and the wife, they get those people who keep dancing and singing and uh, 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 in the house and maybe slaughtering an animal, slaughtering a bird, slaughtering a cow, maybe goat or sheep, actually and throwing the blood on the face of the woman and the woman keep going around, around, around till she fall down and the people there will tell her, yes, the genie, has uh, left your body, now you are okay, your husband will love you, or you will have babies, or you will get, a, get married. This is absolute nonsense, and this is what we call it uh, uh, Alzar. I did not understand why all the time most of the women come into the house to dance and sing with the drum and with actually the other instruments were black. I don't know why. This number one. Number two, I don't know why, why there's a man is always coming with them to do the dancing and singing with them. This is a czar which is also a nonsense has been done by an ignorant woman in the family. The third incident was actually is when you lose something, you go to someone, we call it al-mandal, and this al-mandal will to come to the house to try to find where did you lose the golden ring or the golden bracelet or the diamond ring and all these sort of things. Al-Mandal will, the man will put a, a, a handkerchief on the floor and keep making something, uh, to, uh, saying something, and go around the house, go around the flat, go around all these sort of things to find the lost property. This is also another nonsense which we used to do it because women at home were not highly educated or educated at all. The last but not least, another good example of a good couple who lived with one another for about 15 years without having babies. It was actually the mother-in-law of my sister. and uh, But the man was very considerate, extremely considerate. And after 15 years, they got five boys and one girl. Here we look at, at that time, at the end of the 19th century, at the beginning of the 20th century, uh, uh, not educating a woman means that not educating a whole generation. And as our history and our tradition say that woman is like an institution or mother is like an institution. If you prepare her very well, you prepare the whole society or the whole generation to come. So please invest in educating and empowering women in the society. Thank you very much for watching the video. Um, please uh, activate the notification bell and share the video with your colleagues.